There's another bill, Ilhan Omar. Ilhan Omar introduced a bill in the House to withdraw troops from Afghanistan and end the Afghanistan war. Did it pass? 103 Democrats joined GOP in voting down Omar's amendment to accelerate U.S. withdrawal from Afghanistan. The House of Representatives on Tuesday voted down a proposal by Representative Ilhan Omar to accelerate the withdrawal of American troops from Afghanistan and help bring to a close the longest war in U.S. history. If passed, Omar's amendment would have removed from the House NDAA language, that's the National Defense Authorization Act, it would have removed language from the National Defense Authorization Act language inserted by Liz Cheney and Jason Crow that imposes a series of vague conditions on U.S. troop withdrawal from Afghanistan. Representatives Omar's amendment to the National Defense Authorization Act fell by a vote of 129 to 282 with 103 House Democrats joining 181 Republicans in voting no. We are staying in Afghanistan forever. And this isn't a scandal. This isn't a scandal. It's not a scandal. Do you think Rachel Maddow is going to wag her finger at the Democrats for doing this? You think Chris Hayes is going to scratch his head and go, boy, those people, it seems like they're owned. Just like I am. Do you, th- do you, th- do you think Chris Cuomo is going to do that? And do you think Chris Cuomo's buddies are going to do that? No. No. Over 100 de- I like, Here's what Jordan Ewell said. Like he goes, over 100 Dems just voted against pulling troops out of Afghanistan. Weird thing to do if Trump is such a unique warmongering monster. This is what America's doing in Afghanistan. (laughs) What are we doing there? America has one party of war. Democrats are not an opposition party. Democrats are an opposition to Americans who want health care and a UBI. Democrats are collaborators. Democrats are accomplices of death. Keep voting blue, and maybe we'll be able to stay in Afghanistan for 30 or 40 more years. Hey, why don't we just, you know. (laughs) Wow. Uh, There are people who consider themselves progressives who still think Voting Democrat makes a bit of a fucking difference. Do you see what's gotten us? We had eight years of Joe Biden and Barack Obama. Do you see what it got us? It got us Donald Trump. We got Nancy Pelosi to take over the Congress in 2006. She didn't prosecute one war criminal. You know why? Because she's one. But she did try to impeach Trump for a phone call. Not for a war crime. No, war crimes are okay. And they didn't try to impeach him for his financial crimes. Why? Because all the Democrats are complicit. And people are still, it's just shocking to me. It's just shocking to me to see other YouTubers who consider themselves progressives keep telling you to vote blue that you can vote your way out of this. It doesn't make a bit of fucking difference. Joe Biden was in the White House for eight years. How much did you move him? Did you get Joe Biden and Barack Obama to stop the wars? No, they took us from two to seven. Did you get Joe Biden and Barack Obama to to uh, get rid of Bush's tax cuts? No, they made them permanent. Did you get Joe Biden and Barack Obama to break up the banks? No, they made them bigger. Did you get Barack Obama and Joe Biden to protect peaceful protesters? No, they cracked the heads of Occupy Wall Street protesters from coast to coast. Did you did you move Barack Obama and Joe Biden into helping people keep their homes during a mortgage for? No, they didn't at all. In fact, they screwed people and kicked them out of their house on purpose. 
Were you able to move Joe Biden and Barack Obama to be environmentalists when it came to the Arctic? No, they opened the Arctic to drilling twice. Were you able to get Joe Biden and, and to move them on, say, moving marijuana from a schedule? No, you weren't. No, not even marijuana. A black guy as the president and a black guy as the head of the criminal justice system. They did virtually fucking nothing to fix our racist criminal justice system. No, they didn't. How much did you move them on that? None. None at all. In fact, Barack Obama and Joe Biden militarized the police from coast to coast. That's why in Ferguson they have tanks because of Barack Obama and Joe Biden. How much did you move them? You can't move Joe Biden. If you can't move Joe Biden before the election, you're not going to move him after. Could you be any fucking dumber? If you can't move Joe Biden to supporting the shit he should be right now, health care for all, Medicare for all, a UBI, and ending the fucking wars, he ain't changing after he's got your vote, fuck face. And you, and you have a show. You ain't moving Joe Biden. Do you know in the task force, the healthcare task force, they weren't even allowed to bring up Medicare for all. And why is that? That's because the Democrats and Joe Biden are 100 percent corrupt. (laughs) This is the Democrats 20 years in fucking Afghanistan. This is the Democrats. This is your Democratic Party. The bank's bigger. More poverty, more pain, no health care, giveaways to the pharma, big pharma. $132 billion more to Trump. Hey, we're going to fund his DHS so he can send goons into your city. We're not going to put any strings on it. We're the Democrats. Vote for us. With a straight face, YouTubers will look in a camera and tell you got to vote blue. With a straight fucking face. And now you know how empires end. Because even the people who are supposed to be on the left have fucking brain worms. The same fucking morons who pushed Russiagate at the top of their lungs and are still doing it. The country's falling apart because the left fell apart because there isn't a left. There's no fucking left in America. They've been 100% compromised. The only left left, everybody smears them for telling the truth. Hey, this is the part where I tell you where our live shows are, but there aren't any. (laughs) And then I would tell you to go join our premium, but, but nobody has a fucking job. So why don't you just enjoy the video?